Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely, wonderful day so far. My name is Mandy. Thank y'all so, so much for being here. Today's video is going to be a Shein plus size bikini wear haul. I have lots and lots to talk about today, so I'm not gonna try to bore y'all with a really long intro, but I do wanna say that I like to make these videos and I like to create these videos for other plus size people who are like myself and deal with body image issues and body confidence issues and all of those things that just kind of gnaws on the back of your head that makes you feel like you're just not good enough. And just a quick PSA, if you are one of those people who have cellulite, sagging skin, if you have hip dips, if you have saddlebags, whatever the media outlets are trying to sell you fixes for is completely normal. And I'm just gonna tell you the overwhelming majority of people on this earth have the same things. I mean, shit, <laughs> I have all of those things and I have one boob bigger than the other. So we have a lot to get through today. I hope that y'all enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to. If you like this type of content, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, let's get started. All right, y'all, so in today's video, I have six different bikinis to share with y'all. I also have three cover-ups to share with y'all as well. And I'm thinking about going in order of most favorite to least favorite. I have them all on a rack on the side of me right here. And if I'm gonna go in that order, I think this one is going to be my favorite. So this is going to be a turquoise bikini. And this is what the top looks like. I'll show you the bottom in just a second, but this is an absolute gorgeous color. I really enjoyed the fit of this. I do have one issue with it, but it's not really a big deal. But this is what the top looks like, and it looks very high end. It almost looks like a, a Louis Vuitton or a Valentino or something with this gold V right here in the front. It also has a little peekaboo keyhole in the front as well that will show a little bit of boob if you are endowed in that area but this fabric is very nice, it's very thick, and it does have a good support system. I have 38 triple Ds, so they're quite heavy, they're natural, they don't stand up on their own, and this does the job fairly well. There are two things that I do think really helps with the whole support system, and that is on the back side, so it does have adjustable shoulder straps, as well as an adjustable band in the back. So you can tie it up as tight as you'd like to. And then the bottoms are also very, very nice and they're high-waisted. So this is what the bottoms look like. So this is the front. And then when you turn them around, this is the back. And these are a little bit on the cheeky side. My one and only complaint about this swimsuit, and I think it's just kind of across the board with every brand out there that I've tried, is those stupid cylindrical breast pads <laughs> that sit there right on the side of the bra. It is really annoying. I don't like how they flip and flop around and they get twisted up there and they just sort of disintegrate whenever you wash them. So this is the first one and now on to the next one. So the second swimsuit that we're gonna be talking about today that I picked out from Shein is giving me a total Kim Kardashian moment in a good way. <laughs> so this is what the second one looks like and this is a zip up long sleeve two piece bikini. And I think this looks very high end. It looks like it belongs in some like high-end fashion house like Fendi or maybe Hermes or something like that. It is really, really beautiful and the quality is fantastic. The material is quite thick. The only problem that I have with this, once again, is those disky boob covers that just annoy me to no end, but really and truly, if that's all there is, then I'm not gonna complain too much. But I really enjoyed this zip up option right here. It's high neck, it does have a mock neck turtleneck. So this does completely protect your chest and your arms from the sun, which I really appreciate because I don't like to sunburn or get sun on my chest. I wanna keep it soft and supple and like, you know, skin cancer free for as long as I possibly can. But the bottoms are really cute as well. It's gonna be the same pattern. And these are gonna be also full coverage, so you don't have to worry about any peekaboo moments. They're not gonna be very cheeky. And this is what they look like. So they are a little bit high in the front, but I do like that detail. I think it kind of elongates the leg. It makes it look very long and lean. But if you do wanna show a little bit of skin, if you wanna have a little cleavage showing, I completely understand. I'm right there with you. You can very easily zip it down and the zipper will hold, <laughs> which is, so, so important. I actually did put it to the test. I jumped up and down, 
tried to do a cartwheel, was very unsuccessful. <laughs> But one thing about it, it will not leave you hanging. And that is the most important thing, both figuratively and physically. <laughs> so now we are on to the third swimsuit. And this one is going to be a three piece that I really, really like. And then we're going to move on to the next one, which will be the ones that I'm kind of like neither here nor there with. And then finally, the ones that I just don't like at all. But this one is going to be a three piece that I picked up in a size 4X. And it generally is very simple so it has a very simple top this is like the regular traditional triangular top as far as the support goes you know the drill it always depends on how tightly tied the neck and the back is you know it can cause a little bit of neck discomfort and that's just how these types of swimsuit are however it does have a second top that also does give it a little bit of support and it also gives it a little bit of modesty and this is what it looks like. So this is a sheer kind of a top cover up. It is short sleeved, but it ties around the boobs and then it ties around the waist very nicely. And it just looks so chic. It looks beautiful. And I really do like this one. It's really pretty. It's very simple, but it is really nice. So the bottoms, as you can see, are gonna be these very nice high-waisted full coverage bottoms. They're very thick. They almost have a little bit of ribbing to them. They're full coverage in the front. They're also full coverage in the back, which I greatly appreciate. And just generally speaking, they're comfortable and they're great quality. So now let's talk about the swimsuits that are not really my favorites list, but it's also not the worst thing that I've ever put on my body ever, ever, ever. And this one is gonna be a three-piece swimsuit that I picked up in a size 4X. The top, looks like this. And this is once again, going to be that traditional uh, triangular bikini top with the tie front and the tie back. The bottoms, however, are going to be a little bit more risque. They're going to be a little bit more showy. And I'm going to try to navigate this the best way that I can while staying in my own comfort zone. So if you're here because you want to see me in G strings and thongs and all that, I'm sorry, but that's not my type of channel. <laughs> That's not what I'm here for. I'm here for the body positivity and to lift each other up. I'm not here to be your entertainment while you're in the bathroom, if you know what I mean. So if that's the type of thing that you want, please click off, go on OnlyFans. They have channels for that. <laughs> this ain't one of them. So the bottoms I wanna share with y'all today look like this. This is really, really cute. They are high-waisted. They also are very high up on the leg. And when you turn them around, this is what the back looks like. So it's somewhere in between a thong and a cheeky. I don't know what that's called. Is it called a tanga? I'm not really sure, but anyway, this is what they look like. I find that they're a little bit too low on the stomach area for me because, you know, I do have pregnancy belly from children that I had almost 18 years ago. And <laughs> but I will say this, they do come with really, really cute bottoms and the bottoms look like this. So these are the really cute high-waisted ruffle pants that come with the three-piece set. And I love this so, so much. It is really, really cute. I actually put this on wearing like a regular, like full coverage brief and it looked amazing. So if you wanna pair this with like a halter top or a crop top or something and wear this out and about, you can totally do that. Full vacation vibes right here, but I really love the ruffle. They fit and feel so, so good. So you can also swim in these if you want to. And then whenever you go down to the bottom of them, at the bottom hem, they have that like lettuce hem. Is that what it's called? I think it's called lettuce hem. I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comment section down below but these are so, so soft. They feel really good and cooling on the body. And it really does kind of counteract that whole non-modest bottom. So I love it. So now we are on to the second to last swimsuit of the entire day. And this one is not gonna be on my top favorite list. And it's also not gonna be the bottom worst swimsuit of the entire day. So I would say it's like swimsuit purgatory. It's just in limbo. It doesn't really belong to either one of them. It has good things and it has bad things. So this is what it looks like. And one thing I will say about it, I absolutely love the print. I think it is so, so cute. I love the navy blue background. It has like these black hearts throughout on the background. And it also has these really pretty peach hearts throughout as well. But one thing that I do absolutely love is these ruffles right here underneath the boob. I think it just brings a very nice, 
flirty kind of femininity to the whole thing. And it just is really, really pretty. The problem that I have with this swimsuit is the quality of it. It just doesn't feel as sturdy or as thick or as luxurious as the other ones. Not to mention that whenever you turn it around, it doesn't have an adjustable back strap. So it just is gonna be what it's gonna be as far as the support that you have in the front. The only thing that's gonna help you with support is these very thin shoulder straps. Contradictory, the bottoms are absolutely fantastic. They're completely different than the top. They feel very luxurious. They feel very like compression. They are double lined, so they're not gonna show any kind of skin or they're not gonna be see-through whenever you get them wet and they are full coverage in the front as well as in the back. So they're high-waisted. They're gonna cover any area that you need to be covered when it comes to the stomach area. And they also have a really cute tie there in the front as well. I really like the whole 50s style of these. They just kind of give me retro vibes. It reminds me something that Annette Funicello would have worn back in the day. If you wanna like mix it up and change up the top, and you wanna try this bottom, you can certainly do that. And I think they would look adorable. All right, y'all, so now we are on to the sixth and final swimsuit of the entire day. And as promised, this one is going to be a doozy. I have to wear this with a bra. I hope y'all don't mind, but it just is gonna be what it's gonna be. So this is what the top looks like. And as you can see, uh, the color story is great. It's these really beautiful neutrals. It has the beiges and the blacks and the browns and it has this really nice cream background. But really and truly y'all, that is where the love of this swimsuit ends for me because everything else is a complete mess. So first of all, I'll start with the fabric because the fabric is, as I mentioned before, this very pretty cream color. But whenever you turn it around on the inside, it has this like, almost a uh, partially opaque white fabric that does nothing for modesty. So as soon as this gets wet, you're gonna see areola, you're gonna see nipple, and that's very unfortunate. I just don't like that at all. When you turn the swimsuit around, it does have the nice thick adjustable shoulder straps in the back that I wish they would have incorporated with the other swimsuit that I showed you a few minutes ago with the spaghetti straps. I just wish they would have like switched up the style because that would have made that swimsuit so much better and it would have made it like on the top of my list. But anyway, I digress. So when you go to the back strap, it does not once again have an adjustability right there. And because it doesn't have that structure and that support in the back, it leaves for a very unfortunate situation in the front. So it's going to leave a lot of gapping right there, particularly on the right and left side of the boob. And that just leaves you open to a lot of unfortunate events that can happen. A lot of flopping and a lot of exposure. As far as what the bottoms look like, I will say that I do really enjoy the bottoms, but I can't say with 100% certainty that these are opaque because I haven't tried these out. So um, I will definitely be trying that out before this video goes live and we'll let you know down in the comment section down below. But they also do include a sarong that goes with the whole outfit. And I was really disappointed with the quality of the sarong. It feels more like a loincloth <laughs> whenever you wear it. But this is what the sarong looks like. And it is quite sheer. It's quite small. And it does nothing for the overall like effect of the bathing suit. It just, it doesn't add. It doesn't take away. It just is a lot of nothing. <laughs> I guess if it's see-through, then it adds a little bit of something. But... You know, that's about as far as it goes. <laughs> All right, y'all, before I let y'all go, I do have three different bathing suit cover-ups that I wanna share with y'all really quickly. I'm gonna breeze through these very, very fast so y'all can go and go about your business and handle your day and whatnot. <laughs> but the first one that I wanna show y'all, I'm not really sure if it's a bathing suit cover-up or just a skirt in general. Not really sure, but nonetheless, it is so, so cute. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you what it looks like over the black bathing suit right now, but I love this really nice thick elastic waistband that it has. And then it goes down to a really beautiful sheer maxi length skirt with these really nice glitter stars that catch the light in the most beautiful way. And I couldn't be more excited about this one. So I picked this one up in a size 3X and the material is made of 95% polyester and 5% elastane if I remember correctly. <laughs> so whether or not you wear this as a bathing suit cover up or something for a festival or just something over another black dress, it would look amazing. And I was really excited about this one. The second bathing suit cover up that I picked up from Shein is not a bathing suit cover up at all. Well, I guess it can be, it could be an anything cover up, but it's actually a raincoat. And this is what it looks like. So it's a very long, like white, semi-opaque raincoat and I don't know if I'm echoing in here because of this thing but on the back of it it says Laguna Beach had a simple life 
and it doesn't have like a raised font to it so you can't feel the texture so i don't really know how long this is going to last particularly if you wear it out in the sun it would probably make you burn up but it's great in a pinch and then the final bathing suit cover up that i wanted to share with y'all i still left it in the shein packaging because it reminded me of like a spider web and knowing me i would like completely mess this up and not be able to put it on so i was trying to keep it as um, untangled as I possibly can. But when I saw this on the model on the Shein website, I just was like, that is so freaking cute. So this is what it looks like. I don't even know if you can tell online, you'll be able to see it on my body like right now, but it has spaghetti straps with the crisscross back line. And then on the back side, it has this like crocheted low back detail that just makes it look like a dress. This reminds me of the Rose McGowan, um, Marilyn Manson MTV Video Music Award dress from the 90s. Does it not? Let me know in the comment section. With that being said though, if you're feeling a little bit bold, if you're feeling a little bit bougie, pair this up with a black bra with some high-waisted black briefs, and that would look absolutely amazing. Talk about an Instagram picture. Anyway, this is the final bathing suit cover-up, and follow me on Instagram to see how I style this thing outside of like the whole bathing suit cover up. And yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, y'all. I hope y'all found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. You know your girl would appreciate it. As always, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy. I'm gonna be seeing y'all very, very soon. Bye.